Building or upgrading a new computer, especially for a new builder, can be extremely daunting and nerve-wracking. So that's why at JS2 Sense, we're gonna start a new series here of easy to consume bite-sized content covering everything from as basic as CPU installations all the way up to as advanced as high-end rigid tubing water cooling. So that's why we're gonna kick off this series here with a basic how to install your CPU because I think that's one of the more nerve-wracking things for a new builder. They're worried about damaging their CPU or their pins. And today we're aiming to show you just how easy it really is, and uh, you don't have to be scared. It's the whole point of these videos. The new DG7 series cases from EVGA offer PC enthusiasts more of what they love, like tempered glass side panels, vertical GPU mount, integrated RGB control board, DG tuner, and an awesome three-year warranty. To learn more about the DG7 series of cases from EVGA, head to the link in the description below. So today we're gonna to be covering the four main platforms that you'll encounter, and this pretty much applies to current gen stuff and even past gen stuff. It's gonna cover about 99% of what you can expect. We're gonna do Intel Mainstream, AMD Mainstream, Intel Extreme, and AMD Extreme. And what we've got right here is a Z370 motherboard, but the socket retention system's been the same for about over 10 years now, so this is gonna apply. And this is our CPU right here. This is actually an i5-8400. Now this is the way it's gonna come out of the box. It's gonna have this little cover on it. It's gonna have this little lever. And you're gonna leave the cover on. The mistake a lot of people make is they take the cover off, which exposes the pins. And the pins are the delicate part of an Intel mainstream. You can see here, there's no pins on the CPU. Well, that's because the pins are on the motherboard. So you take this lever, push it out, so it comes around this little arm, and then you swing it up. It will then release from this little screw right here, and you can flip the whole, the whole lid back. Now if you look on the corner of this CPU, you're gonna notice a gold triangle, and that's gonna align with a gold triangle that's on the corner of the socket. Now you're also gonna notice there's two notches are at the top of the mainstream CPUs on Intel. Those are also gonna align with two notches that exist right here in the socket. So take your fingertips, hold it on the side just like this. You don't wanna get any oils and stuff on the bottom, and you're gonna just drop it right down in the center of the socket. And you'll notice those little tabs align and then the corner of the arrow is pointing into the socket right there. Give it a little wiggle to make sure it's seated. Leave the cover on. You're gonna fold the lid back down, align it under the screw right there, and when you push this lever down, the lid is gonna pop off, and you're gonna align the lever under that tab. And you've now just installed your Intel mainstream CPU. Now AMD mainstream is very, very similar, only what you're gonna notice with an AMD CPU is the pins are located on the CPU itself at least on the mainstream AMD. Threadripper's different, we'll talk about that in a second. So what we're gonna do here is the same thing. There's no cover on an AMD CPU, but you're gonna pull the lever out and fold it back, and you can see the whole mechanism kind of moves when you do that. So that's way, that way when you push it down, it slides and makes contact with the pins. But just like the Intel CPU, but we've got a gold arrow right on the corner, and it might be hard to pick up on camera, but we have an arrow right here in the corner of the socket as well. There's no notches on this one, just the arrow that you have to line up. But you're gonna line the arrows up, you're gonna sort of align the pins with the holes, and it will just drop down, give it a little wiggle, make sure it's in, push the lever down, snap it in place, and now your AMD mainstream is installed. Now the Intel Extreme platform, like the X79, X99, X299, is going to be very similar to the mainstream, only you're gonna notice that the retention system here has two levers. So you're gonna actually have to read, you have to do this lever on the left side first, then this lever on the right side, and when you do that, they'll fold apart, and then you can fold this back. So unlike mainstream where it goes up, this one folds back. And you'll notice here, not only do we have the gold arrow once again, we also have two sets of tabs. So there's two little notches right here, and two more notches on the top, but these have different offsets, so it can only go in one way. A tip I like to use is look at the writing on the CPU, orient that upside down, and you now have it facing the right way to go into the socket. So be gentle, push it down, give it a little bit of a wiggle, make sure it's in place. Fold the lid down, do the right side tab first, do the left side tab, and this will pop off. In this case it didn't, but then you can just pop it up. There's your installed Extreme Series Intel CPU. Now Threadripper is brand spanking new. This is a TR4 socket. This one actually requires a tool, and all Threadripper CPUs come with the required tool. Now what we're gonna do here is we have to pull off this retention bracket. And if you look right here on the socket itself, you can see we've got a close and it says one, two, three. That's the order that you tighten down the screws. And to open it is the reverse, three, two, one. 
So to open it, we're gonna loosen up number three, which is this corner, because it's marked. They are captive, so these screws will not fall out. We're gonna loosen up two, loosen up one. And this is spring-loaded, so as soon as that comes loose, it pops up, just like that. And we have this other mechanism in here. It's sort of a, sort of a tray or a sled. You're gonna grab this little piece right here, this little tab, and you're gonna pull up, and it's gonna have a little bit of resistance to it, but it will pop up. And then you're gonna slide this guy out, just like this. Now this is our socket retention cover. This is gonna protect our pins until we install. So I don't like to remove this until I'm actually ready to close the lid. Now here is your Threadripper CPU. It's got this orange sort of a cassette. We leave this in. Some mistakes people make as they pop this off. We leave this on and we are gonna slide it into this rail system. Now if you kind of look right here, you're gonna see there's a, there's a rail on either side. And that rail aligns with this orange cassette. So with the pin side of the CPU facing up, technically, we we're just gonna slide this down just like that until it snaps into place. And now we are ready to remove this cover right here. And to remove it, there's two little grab points where it says remove. Just pop that up, take the cassette, snap it down into place. Then you can take your lid and push that down. Now to close it, you're gonna go in the order it says, one, two, three. So we're just gonna start number one. We're not gonna be tightening it down fully yet. Get the thread started on number two. Get the thread started on number three. And this is technically a torque wrench. It's already set to the proper torque specs for this socket. So once we started the threads on all three of them, go back to one and turn it until the little knob clicks. Just like that. So one is now good. Go to two and do the same thing until the torque wrench clicks and then do the same thing for number three. Till it clicks just like that. Now don't go past where it clicks. Some mistakes people have made is they keep turning and then they actually snap the head right off the screw on their socket. So once it clicks, that's it, you're set. So there you go guys, it's just that simple. That is how you install a CPU on pretty much any platform now in 2017 and probably forward and backwards as well. It's not that hard. Once it's in place, everything's pretty much ready to go for your cooler and continue on with your build. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.